you do last year when you were in Stockholm and you were talking a lot about the findings you had before you came to Sweden. So what's new this new year? So last year when I was here we talked about a lot about inflammation in the tissue and now we know that there's a lot of fibrosis in tissue of people who have lipedema or Durkheim's disease. And it's this fibrosis that makes it very difficult to lose this fat by diet, exercise, or bariatric surgery. So is there any way to treat it and to get rid of it? So one of the ways that we have been focusing on treating the fibrosis is by manual therapy. And if you look into some of the really old texts on manual lymphatic drainage therapy, they talk about just gently moving the skin and tissue in manual lymphatic drainage therapy. Well, if you look for any references to those uh, statements and those textbooks, there are none. And so we now know that you can treat deeper into the tissue and not harm the lymphatic system. And in order to reduce fibrosis associated with lymphedema or lipedema or Durkheim's disease, you have to treat deeper into the tissue. And there's many techniques that you can use. Uh, you can use uh, <clears throat> myofascial techniques. Uh, where you actually treat um, slowly but deeply down towards the fascia that covers the muscles. You can use um, just kind of deep overall uh, massage techniques. You can use meridian massage, Chinese massage, Twina massage. You can use tools such as ASTEM therapy, Graston technique, Gua Sha tools, and cupping. So there's a lot of different techniques that, that people can use and try out and find out what works best for them. But the best thing about having a smorgasbord of techniques is that you should be able to find a professional that works near you so that you can get professional treatment and also learn how to take care of yourself at home. So this will be coaching. So you will be in teamwork with a limb therapist or another professional. Correct. I agree. Okay. Anything else new that we don't really know so much about here? So uh, this year we talked about a couple of new uh, supplements that you can use to improve your uh, fat tissue. And we're calling this fat tissue loose connective tissue, which it is by definition. And so if you have a problem with the fat on your body, you have a connective tissue disorder. And if you look at, you can actually search online what is fat and it'll pop up loose connective tissue. And so this loose connective tissue, when it becomes sick, it loses elasticity, and that's after it becomes inflamed and before it becomes fibrotic. So you want to try and prevent that inflammation. And one supplement that I recommended this year was melatonin, which is now available in Sweden. And a lot of the studies use doses of one milligram, three milligram, five milligram. And the reason melatonin is important is because a lot of people who have connective tissue disorders don't get good sleep at night. If they don't get good sleep, then they sleep during the day, their sleep cycle is off, they become insulin resistant, and they prolong their inflammation. Well, melatonin is an anti-inflammatory, and it actually improves the elasticity of tissue. And your uh, providers in Sweden can actually write a prescription or a recipe to get the melatonin. The second supplement we talked about was collagen. And collagen you can get from uh, primarily animal sources, um, but you can get it from plant sources. And there, are, there is some preliminary data showing that collagen can also improve elasticity of tissue and decrease pain and inflammation in people who have connective tissue disorders, especially if they have hypermobility.